In this video, we are going to see how to write emails from subject line using OpenAI. So let's say that you have got different subject lines in Airtable. You are just trying to make your work easier. And every time there is a new record added, as in a new title is there, a subject line is there, you want that with the help of OpenAI, an email should be created on the basis of that subject line and then it should be sent to the admin so that then he can send it to the employees or clients, etc. How can this happen? For this, you will have to have some integration between these three applications and the same can be done using Public Connect software. Here, your trigger application would be Airtable and your action applications would be OpenAI and Gmail. Now, how can you do this? Automate, integrate this entire process. To understand that, let me take you to my screen. To begin with the process, we are first going to type the URL pabli.com slash connect. And as we do that, here we are at the landing page of this software. Now here on the right hand side, we can see two options, sign in and sign up for free. If you already have an account with us, simply sign in. And if you are a new user, then you will have to click on the sign up tab. It won't take more than two minutes. You would be able to create your account. And also at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks. Now, since I'm already a user here, I'll simply click on sign in. And here we have reached the all apps page. We are going to click on access now for Pabli Connect. And here we have reached the dashboard. On the right hand side, you can see a tab create workflow. Let's click on this. And a dialog box has appeared, which is asking us to name this workflow. Here, my objective is that with some subject lines that I already there in my spreadsheet, I wish to create email content and then I wish to mail it to the person. So my integration will have a table. So I'm using this as a spreadsheet, open AI to create the content and gmail integration so this is how i'm going to name my workflow let's click on create as we do that here we have reached another window which has got two very important events trigger and action triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works trigger this when this happens and action is do this so action here is the response of your trigger now, I wish that the subject lines that I have in my spreadsheet with that content should be created. So my trigger application would be Airtable and my action application would be OpenAI to create content. So here I'm going to search for Airtable. Here it is. And now comes the trigger event. This is the event that will make this workflow start. And I'm going to choose new record. Now let's click on connect. As soon as we do that here, Pabli Connect is asking to connect itself with the Airtable account and to set up this connection, we are going to click on add new connection and we need a token. To receive this token, we are going to go to the account section of Airtable. I have already logged into my Airtable account. Let's click on this hyperlink and here this is the account overview of Airtable. If I come down, this is my API key, which is going to be used as a token here. Let's click on this and copy save. So once done here, you can see it is asking me for base table and trigger field to understand what is this. I'm going to take you to my Airtable account once again. And here you can see this is the dashboard. These are the different workspaces and within this public connect workspace. Again, you have got different bases. These are actually tables. So here I already have created a base open AI responses. Let me open this and show you. So here you can see that the name is open AI responses and the name of the table is content Gmail. Then here I have this column field subject line. So one is leave request for brother's marriage. Another one is salary device. You can have multiple. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this icon. Here I'm going to name the field as created. And then I'm going to look for a field which is created time. Here it is. Let's click on this. Now here, this means that every time data is added, it will show exactly the date and time of that record. Now I'm going to click on create field. As soon as I've done that, it is showing me the time and date. Now I'm going to go back to Public Connect. And here I have to provide this information. The base here is. OpenAI responses. Let's click on this. 
Now the table here content Gmail since there was only one table it has already been captured by the system and here you can see the trigger field has been captured which is created. Remember that this field that we have just created is extremely necessary. If you do not have a created field in your table schema your workflow will not work correctly. So make sure that you have to create this and I've already shown you how to create. Now let's click on save and send test request. See, as soon as we have done that, here we have received the last data that we have entered in the table. So this is salary revised and here we have the created time. Now, what do I want? That with this subject line, content should be generated for my email. So I'm going to choose my action application as OpenAI. This is an extremely interesting application. And now the action event would be to generate content. Let's click on connect. Here again, Public Connect is asking to connect itself with the OpenAI account. I'm going to click on add new connection. I have already logged into my OpenAI account and here it is asking me for the token. So to understand what is this token, we have to click on this hyperlink. Let's click on this. And here you can see this is the API key. I'm going to quickly copy this, go back to Public Connect and just paste it over here. Click on save to set up this connection. And now here you can see that Public Connect is connected with OpenAI. Now here we have to select the model, then prompt, maximum tokens to understand what are these things. Now I'm going to take you to my OpenAI account. So this is the OpenAI website. You can reach here by typing openai.com and then you have to click on API. Once you're here, you have to click on login and login with your credentials. Once you have logged in, you will reach this particular page which has got certain tutorials, examples. OpenAI is an extremely interesting application. It is an artificial intelligence and deployment company, which really helps us a lot for content creation. So automatically it can generate content. So now I'm going to go to playground here. Once we are here, I'm going to show you some magic. So if I say that write a blog on the title, and let's say the title is life is beautiful okay as soon as i do this and i click on submit here you can see that it has automatically started generating content now isn't that amazing now this particular content that it has generated the length of this content can always be customized how there is this option maximum length so you can select from 100 to 4,000 tokens. Now I'm going to throw some light on the setting part. So these are the various modes and here is the model. So we are always going to select text the Vinci's user to Y because this is the most capable model in the GPT-3 series. It can perform any task that other GPT-3 models can. The next is temperature. Remember that it controls randomness. So if this temperature number is zero then you know it will become really repetitive your content and if it goes towards one then it will become really random so it controls randomness 0 0.7 is the default value then you have the maximum length as i just told you that the maximum number of tokens generated can be 4000 stop sequence now this is important to make sure that you know your api stop generating further tokens so here let's say the sequence is backslash and double hashtag you can create your own let's click on add now we have top p then the frequency penalty now frequency penalty decreases the model's likelihood to repeat the same line verbatim and the presence penalty it increases the model's likelihood to talk about new topics so you can have it from zero to one let's say i'm making it one and then you have the best of. So this generates multiple completion server side and displays only the best. So if you wish that you wish to have the best of four, five, six, up to 10, you can always do that. Here I'm going to select three. So once done, we are done over here. Also, I'm going to show you something which is view code. Let's click on this. Understand that this is our prompt because this would, this would be asked. So your prompt is actually anything which is written before the blog or before the content that you receive. I hope you have understood this. Now I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect and here we are going to map the data. Mapping means that I already have this information and I'm just going to retrieve it. So the model has already been selected. Now the prompt, as I just told you, let's say the prompt is write the 
write email content as per the subject line okay and my subject line here is now i'm going to map this data go to air table and this is my subject line right next is maximum tokens so here i wish to write an email i do not want it to be really lengthy so let's say it is 256 tokens then the sampling type we already know that we want random data every time so temperature sampling you have got two options nucleus sampling and temperature sampling then the sampling value i have already told you that it can be anything between 0 to 1 and the default value is 0 0.7 i'm going to write this then we have the presence penalty so if even if you do not fill this it will take the default value here i have selected it as 1 again the frequency penalty was selected as 1 and the stop sequence was backslash double hashtag and it was best of 3 once done let's click on save and send test request so once done here we have received the api response and here you can see the email it is exactly in an email format as well hi and there can be an employee name we regret to inform you that your salary has been revised your new salary will be this much amount per month effective immediately we understand that this may be disappointing news and we appreciate all that you're doing for the company thank you for your continued dedication and hard work now doesn't that make your work really easy so once we have received the content now what is my objective my objective is to send an email so here i'm going to select my next application as gmail and the action event would be to send email let's click on connect again public connect is asking to connect itself with the gmail account let's click on add new connection connect with gmail and i'm going to select the account through which i wish to share the mail so once done i've already logged into my account I'm going to provide it the authorization by clicking on continue and here you can see that the authorization has been successful. Here we have to provide the recipient's email address. Now this content generation that I'm doing is for my help. So I am going to provide a static email address which is going to be like that. Like you know all the emails would be, which would be created would be sent to the admin. So here let's say the email address is here is the email address and then the sender's name so let's say the sender's name is pably connect then we have the email subject so the email subject here is email content right this is the email subject then if i come down the email type is plain email content is again required here so subject we have written now the email content so this email content would be i want to have the subject line and then the content so this is my subject line then i'm going to press enter and here is my content so once we have done this now i'm going to go down and just click on save and send test request if you have any attachment you can always attach and here it is saying that the result is showing that the mail has been sent so now i'm going to take you to my email and show if we have received the mail so let's just refresh this page once and here you can see that yes you have received an email through public connect salary revised and this is your email content this basically means this integration process is a success but now we also need to check it in real so i'm going to go back to airtable and here i'm going to put another subject line let's say new leave policy okay so this is my new subject line and the moment i write this automatically an email should be shared along with the content so i press on enter right and now i'm going to go back to my email account fresh this page and here you can see that i haven't actually received the mail why to understand that i'm going to take you to public connect and if i take you up here you can see that this trigger will check for new data in every 10 minutes which basically means that our trigger application has a polling time of 10 minutes so after every 10 minutes only this workflow will work so it will keep on checking for new data after 10 minutes so let's wait and do not worry if you do not receive your result instantly just have some patience wait for 10 to 15 minutes you will certainly receive your response 
So it's been 10 minutes and now I'm going to take you back to my email address and yes here you can see that we have received another email this time it is about new leave policy and here we have the data we are excited to announce our new leave policy which will go into effect next month this policy is designed to give employees more flexibility and choice when it comes to taking time off here are the other details isn't that fantabulous exactly so going back to Pagbly connect let's understand exactly the process so our trigger application here was a table where the event was new record then our next action application was OpenAI, where our event was to generate content and finally the action was gmail where our event was sent email i hope that you are through with this if you have any doubt you can refer to the workflow the same workflow that we have worked on is there in the description box you can clone the same and even process immediately apart from this if you have any other suggestion or advice for us you can always write to us I hope this was helpful. To watch more such videos, you can always subscribe to our channel, which is there on YouTube. If you have any queries, you can write to us at forum.pabli.com. And if you want to know our pricing plans, then you can visit us at this particular site. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe if you have liked this video.